Rockabull is a rather visceral coming-of-age documentary which, in its attractively rough-and-tumble, cinema verite style, deals with a group of young men and the freedom of expression they help create in the fragile, war-torn city of Kabul. Its tagline is simple but highly resonant. Would you put your life on the line to experience music? And the movie, directed by Australian filmmaker and musician Travis Beard, follows Afghanistan's first and only metal band as they reach out to disenchanted Afghan youth, the expat community, and eventually the outside world. Based in Afghanistan and working as a journalist, a volunteer, and as a kind of omnipresent arts facilitator, Beard was approached by a group of young guys interested in making music. Not just any music, they wanted to play heavy metal music. To even suggest such a thing was madness. Playing music was forbidden, and with the pressure of daily bombings and a society that sees no value in the arts, starting a heavy metal band was simply one of the most dangerous things anyone could do. As a rather unsettling Taliban judge says at the start, it is permitted to kill people who take this path. They have abandoned Islam and chosen the infidel's path. We are using our music. We just want to play in front of thousands of guys and girls who come together. But the band which forms, calling itself District Unknown, and composed of Lima, Quay, Pedram and Quazim, with vocalist Youssef later stepping in, is determined. Though to start with, their music is terrible, cacophonous and seriously loud, simply pure noise. B had asked them about tuning their instruments after first listening to them. Their response is that they didn't tune them as you only tuned them when you played live. It's hard going. The film took Beard seven years to complete, but under his guidance, District Unknown improves. The film shows us a part of Afghan culture taking us inside life in Kabul, something rarely portrayed in the Western media, and provides an experience that is a privilege to witness. I found uh, this really very interesting. Uh, I, I do think it's too long. I think there are too many cutaway shots of street scenes and God knows what, and I think 10 minutes shorter would have been 10 minutes better. But uh, I think they are all really charming, these guys. They are really nice looking. They obviously uh, uh, come uh, from fairly privileged backgrounds yes. uh, because their English is... Their English is terrific, know, isn't it? Yeah. yeah impeccable. Um, and, it, you know, I mean, it is a, a really interesting journey from, you know, really terrible beginnings. They would really... But then, you know, the, as they improve and they play live and the audience response to their music. I mean, that it's like this, the youth of this country is mm. crying out for something like this. I think it's a bit rough around the edges sometimes. Well, I think that's, I was impressed by that though, the roughness around the edges, because obviously Beard, who's not a practice filmmaker at the start yeah, at well, least, exactly. has to find cameras yeah. and uses bits and pieces of anything that he can get yeah. to, to put this thing together. I gather well, they had a lot of trouble finding the money to finish it, but bit by bit they managed to, to get the, uh, you know, the, the finance to do the post-production that they needed. And well, the, you I know... I love that I, cut and paste I, feel that it has. I thought it was interesting. Well, yeah, I think it's mm. got a too many, <laughs> a few too well, many well, cut but the, it's, scene, it's, the scenes of the markets and the streets of Kabul, I'd never seen that before. I thought that was rather fascinating to oh. actually go inside the life of, of Afghanistan the way that we do. Oh, well, I think that's mm. what's, what's interesting. I think the cutaways are, you know, not terribly relevant to what the film's about. But anyway, no. I think it was made under quite difficult circumstances. I think they're heroic, these kids. They're, that tr truck trip to Mazar el Sharif mm. was... You know, really very dangerous. And I, I thought they were gutsy and I it is wish them The music's kind of gutsy too, even if it's probably the worst music I've ever heard in a film <laughs> ever. It is absolutely shocking music. I, I mean, no matter how hard they try, they just can't play, these boys. <laughs> I'm glad they're all safe. I'm giving this four stars. I'll give it four as well. <laughs> There's some, you know, exchange of positive energy between you and the people, and again, it goes back to them, and it comes back to you. I love Kabul, but I hate Kabul.